A St. Louis man loses both of his legs after a car crashed into him while walking down Chicago's magnificent mile. He is now recovering in a Chicago hospital. Fox 2's Amelia McGavro spoke to the man's wife and she joins us live from St. Charles where the couple lives. Amelia. Yeah, I'm Bryce and Amy uh, Summary have lived in St. Charles for about six years now, and honestly, their story is so shocking because how many times have we walked down the sidewalk, much like the ones here in uh, streets of St. Charles, and thought, oh, we're safe. The cars are on the road. We would never get hit by them. Well, that's what the Summary family thought, but they are remaining strong tonight and are just grateful to be alive. For Bryce and Amy Summary, their lives have been forever changed from a wreck that happened in just seconds. The matter of seconds, just, you know, everything that used to matter doesn't matter anymore. That wreck happened in Chicago on Michigan Avenue. Bryce and Amy were in town for a conference and they were just walking to dinner when the unthinkable happened. I just heard my husband say, look at that. And then I got a push from him and I looked to my left and I saw a white SUV coming at us. Whenever I turned around, he wasn't there. Police say the driver of that white Mercedes tried to run a traffic stop, hit another car, and then drove into the corner of Michigan and Ohio. Bryce was hit and got trapped underneath. I just stayed by his head and held his hand and kept telling him, you know, just you need to stay with me, you know, squeeze my hand, let me know that you're still here. Miraculously, Bryce survived, but it's been a grueling 12 days. He's already undergone six long surgeries, including two leg amputations. He'll go for a seventh on Wednesday, but the couple is staying strong for each other and their two boys back home. We're both just very grateful that we're both alive and that we survived the accident. When the summaries return to St. Charles, Bryce plans to keep coaching his sons in t-ball and soccer to keep running daily and inspiring others along the way. It's a major uh, temporary um, setback, but um, it's not the end of a book. It's just a new chapter. The resilience is truly inspiring and the family has a 501c3 as well as a GoFundMe page all to pay for those rising medical costs they are experiencing. And so I'll have links and information on both of those inside this story on Fox2Now.com. Reporting live from St. Charles, Amelia McGalbro, Fox2 News.